Good morning and welcome, dear parents, teachers, and my outgoing council members and um, the members of the council who are going to be invested are waiting, in waiting to be invested. It is a proud moment at HFS to have our children invested as leaders, a tough competition amongst more than 300 children. We have um, just 30 odd children who are invested and it is indeed a, a very privileged moment and an honorable moment for all of us this morning. I request Ms. Kanishka Shetty, Master Pranav Mintri, Ms. Eva Manoj, Master Arpit Desai, Ms. Aditi Bakshi, Master Tejas Naladala, Ms. Kavya Mali, Master Rohit Rajguru, Ms. Tanya De, Master Aaron Jason, Ms. Alesha Sassan, Master Ved Rane, Ms. Ashna Singh, Ms. Shreya Yerubanti, Ms. Alvira Kureshi, Ms. Swarangi Jagtap, Master Kshitij Kharche, Master Utkarsh Puri, Master Rishit Srivastav, Ms. Nishita Singh, Ms. Suchita Vishwanathan, Ms. Priyanka Gupte, Master Ahmik Kulkarni, Master Arnav Bhatt, Master Dhruv Prabhu, Ms. Vedika Veramali, Ms. Aditi Bhavna, Master Ayush Akash, Master Pratyush Sinha, Master Pranava Kochar, and Master Pat Kenar, who have been nominated office bearers for the year 2022-23 to come forward. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Kanishka Shetty and Master Pranav Mintri to please step forward and take the oath. Kanishka Shetty and Master Pranav Mintri, you have been nominated school head girl and head boy. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. The head girl and head boy must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable with initiative and leadership. It is your duty to bring to the notice of the authorities reasonable suggestions of your companions, thus always standing by the principal's decision. You will be expected to be faithful to your fellow students, respectful to your teachers, and above all, loyal to your school. Ms. Kanika Shetty, Master Pranav Mintri, do you accept the office of school head girl and head boy with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I, Kanishka Shetty, I, Pranav Mintri, accept the office of head girl and head boy, accept the office of head girl and head boy with its duties and responsibilities, with its duties and responsibilities, and promise loyalty to the school. I promise loyalty to the school and to my companions. And to my companions.
the greater glory of God in the service of our country to the owner of the school, I declare you nominated head girl and head boy with all its duties, its responsibilities, its powers and privileges. Thank you, ma'am. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Eva Manoj and Master Arpit Desai to please step forward and take the oath. Ms. Eva Manoj and Master Arpit Desai, you have been nominated as the sports captains. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. The sports captains must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable with initiative and leadership. Ms. Eva Manoj, Master Arpit Desai, do you accept the office of sports captains with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I, Eva Manoj, I, I accept the office of sports captains. I accept the office of sports captains with its duties and responsibilities. With its duties and responsibilities. And promise loyalty to the school. And promise loyalty to the school. And to my companions. And to my companions. the greater glory of God in the service of our country, to the owner of the school, I declare you nominated sports captains with its duties and responsibilities and its powers and privileges. Thank you, ma'am. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Aditi Bakshi and Master Tejas Naladala to please step forward and take the oath. Ms. Aditi Bakshi and Master Tejas Naladala, you have been nominated Alpha House Captains. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. The House Captains must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable with initiative and leadership. Ms. Aditi Bakshi and Master Tejas Naladala, do you accept the office of Alpha House Captains with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I, Aditi Bakshi, I, Tejas Naladala, accept the office of Alpha House Captains, accept the office of Alpha House Captains with its duties and responsibilities, with its duties and responsibilities, and promise loyalty to the school, and promise loyalty to the school, and to my companions, and to my companions. I request the Alpha House Mistress, Mrs. Kiran Bhatija, 
to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated Alpha House captains. the greater glory of God in the service of our country, to the honor of the school, I declare you nominated Alpha House captains with all its duties and responsibilities and all its powers and privileges. Thank you, ma'am. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Kavya Mali and Master Rohit Rajguru to please step forward and take the oath. Kavya Mali and Master Rohit Rajguru, you have been nominated Beta House Captains. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. A house captain must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable, with initiative and leadership. Ms. Kavya Mali and Master Rohit Rajguru, do you accept the office of Beta House Captains with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I, Kavya Mali, I, Rohit Rajguru, accept the office of Beta House Captains, accept the office of Beta House Captains with its duties and responsibilities, with its duties and responsibilities, and promise loyalty to the school, and promise loyalty to the school, and to my companions, and to my companions. I request the Beta House Mistress, Mrs. Aarti Singh, to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated Beta House Captains. glory of God in the service of our country, to the honor of the school, I declare you nominated 
Beta House Captains with all its duties and responsibilities and all its powers and privileges. Thank you, Ma. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Tanya Day and Master Aaron Jason to please step forward and take the oath. Ms. Tanya Day and Master Aaron Jason, you have been nominated Delta House Captains. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. A house captain must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable with initiative and leadership. Ms. Tanya Day, Master Aaron Jason, do you accept the office of Delta House Captain with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I, Tanya D. I, Aaron Jason, accept the office of Delta House Captains. Accept the office of Delta House Captains with its duties and responsibilities. With its duties and responsibilities. And promise loyalty to the school. And promise loyalty to the school. And to my companions. And to my companions. I request the Delta House Mistress, Mrs. Meghna Jaitpal, to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated Delta House Captains. the greater glory of God in the service of our country, to the honor of the school, I declare you nominated Delta House Captain with all its duties and responsibilities, its powers and privileges. Thank you, ma'am. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Alaisha Sassen and Master Ved Rane to please step forward and take the oath. Ms. Alaisha Sassen and Master Ved Rani, you have been nominated Sigma House Captains. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. A house captain must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable with initiative and leadership. 
Miss Alesha Sassen and Master Ved Rani, do you <coughs> accept the office of Sigma House Captains with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I, Alesha Sassen, I, Ved Rani, accept the office of Sigma House Captains, accept the office of Sigma House Captains with its duties and responsibilities, with its duties and responsibilities, and promise loyalty to the school, and promise loyalty to the school, and to my companions, and to my companions. I request the Sigma House Mistress, Mrs. Pooja Raut, to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated Sigma House Captains. the greater glory of God in the service of our country, to the honor of the school, I declare you nominated Sigma House Captains with its duties and responsibilities, its powers and privileges. Thank you, ma'am. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Eshna Singh, Ms. Shreya Yeruvanti, Ms. Alvira Kureshi, Ms. Varangi Jagtap, Master Kshitich Kharche, Master Utkarsh Puri, and Master Rohit Rishit Srivastav to please step forward and take the oath. Krishna Singh, Ms. Shreya Yeruvanti, Ms. Alvira Kureshi, Ms. Swarangi Jagtap, Master Kshitich Kharche, Master Utkarsh Puri, and Master Rishit Srivastav. You have been nominated as the erudite prefix. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. Erudite prefix must be exemplary in conduct and application cheerful and sociable with initiative and leadership. Ms. Aishna Singh, Ms. Shreya Yiruvanti, Ms. Alvira Kureshi, Ms. Swarangi Jagtap, Master Shitij Kharch, Master Utkarsh Puri, Master Rishit Srivastav, do you accept the office of erudite prefix with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, Hold the school flag and take the oath. I Swarangi Jagta, Krishna Singh, Shreya Ruati, Amira Kureshi, Utkash Puri, Rishit Srivastav. Accept the office of erudite prefix. Accept the office of erudite prefix. With its duties and responsibilities. With its duties and responsibilities. And promise loyalty to the school. And promise loyalty to the school. And to my companions. And to my companions. I request our ISC coordinator, Mrs. Mariam George, to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated prefix.
you, Mrs. George. I call upon our primary supervisor, Mrs. Preeti Jaydev, to do the honors of giving away the certificates to the outgoing prefix. Thank you, Mrs. Jaydev. the greater glory of God in the service of our country, to the honor of the school, I declare you nominated erudite prefects with all its duties, its responsibilities, its powers and privileges. Thank you. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Nishita Singh, Ms. Suchita Vishwanathan, Ms. Priyanka Gupte, Master Ahmik Kulkarni, Master Arnav Bhatt and Master Dhruv Prabhu to please step forward and take the oath. Ms. Nishita Singh, Ms. Suchita Vishwanathan, Ms. Priyanka Gupte, Master Ahamik Kulkarni, Master Arnav Bhatt and Master Dhruv Prabhu, you have been nominated as the functionary prefix. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. Functionary prefix must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable, with initiative and leadership. Ms. Nishita Singh, Ms. Suchita Vishwanathan, Ms. Priyanka Gupte, Master Ahmik Kulkarni, Master Arnab Bhatt, and Master Dhruv Prabhu, do you accept the office of functionary prefects with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. Aye. Suchita Vishwanathan, Nishita Singh, Ahmed Kulkarni, Arnav Bhatt, Dhruv Prabhu, Accept the office of functionary prefix. Accept the office of functionary prefix. With its duties and responsibilities. With its duties and responsibilities. And promise loyalty to the school. And promise loyalty to the school. And to my companions. And to my companions. I request our secondary section coordinator, Mrs. Teresa Martin, to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated prefix.
Mrs. Martin. I call upon our middle school coordinator, Mrs. Bindu Menon, to do the honors of giving away the certificates to the outgoing prefix. Thank you, Mrs. Menon. To the greater glory of God in the service of our country, to the honor of the school, I declare you nominated functionary prefix with all its duties, its responsibilities, its powers and privileges. Thank you, ma'am. With the permission of the investing officer, I request Ms. Vedika Veramali, Ms. Aditi Bafna, Master Ayush Akangsh, Master Pratyush Sinha, Master Pranava Kocher, and Master Pat Khenar to please step forward and take the oath. Ms. Vedika Veramali, Ms. Aditi Bafna, Master Ayush Akangsh, Master Pratyush Sinha, Master Pranava Kocher, and Master Path Khenar, you have been nominated as a disciplinary prefix. It is an honor that has been bestowed on you. It is an office full of responsibility. Disciplinary prefix must be exemplary in conduct and application, cheerful and sociable, with initiative and leadership. Ms. Vedika Viravali, Ms. Aditi Bhavna, Master Ayush Akansh, Master Pratyush Sena, Master Pranava Kochar, and Pat Khenar, do you accept the office of disciplinary prefects with its duties and responsibilities? If you do so, hold the school flag and take the oath. I. Pranava Kochar. Accept the office of disciplinary prefix. Accept the office of disciplinary prefix. With its duties and responsibilities. With its duties and responsibilities. And promise loyalty to the school. And promise loyalty to the school. And to my companions. And to my companions. I request our primary section coordinator, Mrs. Shubhangini Vaz, to do the honors of pinning on the badges to the newly nominated prefix. Mrs. Vaz, I call upon our primary school coordinator, Mrs. Radhika Gurumurthy, to do the honors of giving away the certificates to the outgoing prefix. Thank you, 
थैंक्यू मिसेस गुरुमूर्ति the greater glory of god in the service of our country to the honor of the school i declare you nominated disciplinary prefix with all its duties its responsibilities all its powers and privileges thank, thank you ma'am I request the investing officer Mrs Nilu Lamba to address the assembly. Good morning dear parents, teachers, my outgoing council body members and the council body members who are invested. I think this morning I have to keep my speech and my thoughts very short because I can see uh, the outgoing council members and the invested council members falling ill, virtually about to fall, and not used to the post-COVID activities of the school. It has been a traumatizing journey of two years. The world faced a disaster of its kind. And thankfully, this morning, most of us are without the mass. All of us have come to the realization that we have to be grateful, we have to be thankful, we have to count our blessings, that all is well. That is something which COVID has taught us. Live in the moment, count our blessings, and move ahead. However, we at HFS have tried our best, even through the COVID period, to have as many activities as we could, however few. We did invest in the council body of 2020-2021, and they are seated here. And I do not know whether you, dear parents, have realized, but we as teachers have realized that the gap of the two years of online teaching learning has been very pronounced, and it is taking a while to be resolved and filled in. We observed this gap as soon as we reopened on the 15th of June. The council too went through a very tough time to have two semester board exams. A different pattern, a different style, but our teachers rose to the occasion and made sure that our children were prepared and we got an excellent result. We have calculated all our um, children's performances on all the subjects. I got a few emails from some parents that why did you take in all the subjects when many, most schools are taking in the best of five. But we realized that this was indeed a very challenging year. The first semester was an MCQ. The second semester of 40 mark had certain theory questions and objective questions as well. And we felt that every subject had its importance. 
and therefore we calculated a very authentic methodology of giving the children their due but the children did not falter we have banners which are virtually touching the ground with almost 90 plus children getting the governor's gold medal that is um, getting a 90 percent in every subject so that is no mean feat and another 90 plus getting a 90 percent so in total we have more than half of the class of 305 children who have excelled with a 90 percent and these are the outgoing members who are seated here i am thankful to you dear members of the outgoing council body for being here this morning there were some who sent me a mail last night stating madam i am dash i'm not taking the name i am dash outgoing council body member i would like to let you know that i cannot come for this event because i have a very important test at the allen coaching class it got me thinking it got me pondering it got me upset because I felt how quickly our children have taken their priorities and felt this was not important enough for them. Now their priorities are getting into the IIT and an Allen class. So dear parents, there is a message in this email. You and me and my teachers have to accelerate our messages or our value education classes. We have to let our children know that it's not always about self. It's not always about my test, my coaching class, my friends. It's not always about self. We have to also look at other components that have made you what you are today. So this complete work of producing leaders and leaders of the entire class is a very tough work wherein every teacher's effort right from pre-primary teachers to the 12th standard goes in their erudite skills, their ability to stand tall and talk, their ability to ace all the sports activities, their ability to be able to convince, their ability to be able to excel is a combination of every teacher in them, every parent that has influenced them through their little lives of 17 years when they step out of the school and learn to fly. On hindsight, being a parent, being a principal, being a teacher, I felt I shouldn't be blaming these children because these children were invested, but they never really played the role of leaders because they were not in school. They were at home. So how would they know the importance of this event? And therefore, I consoled myself, stating, this is OK. But yet, somewhere we have to teach them, and you, dear children, responsibility, duties, and the love for your alma mater will what will make you excellent ambassadors. Whether you're sitting in Google, whether you're sitting in Microsoft, whether you're leading a hospital, whether you are the best architect of the world, or whether you are going to be the next prime minister of a major country, or if you are going to be leading a company like Pichwai is doing. Remember, Indians have this very unique USP. We have with us, Mere Paas Maa Hai. Mere paas pitha ji hai. 
मेरे पास दादा दादी हैं मेरे पास नाना नानी हैं मेरे पास भाई बहन हैं मेरे पास पूरा परिवार है विच इज द यूनिक इंडियननेस विच ऑल ऑफ अस हैव in abundance and that is what sets you apart you have the emotional strength to carry on through tough times through easy times and through times that we don't know like the two years of covid and my children i can say with a lot of pride today parents my 12 standards were all ready for the practicals when none of the schools were open we made them practice the practicals they came for the practicals our internals were all ready we were not caught napping my teachers were in school ever since the three months of home confinement was over they came on rotation so it is a combination of you dear parents my teachers my children that has made the hfs family thrive prosper and progress with that i congratulate the batch of 22 23 as leaders of the future god bless you and make sure you hold your head high with the satisfaction you're doing everything right god bless and congratulations <laughs>